love. There it is. That word. It's a very popular word, isn't it? So many meanings, feelings attached to it. So many experiences. We think we know what it means, but honestly it's been distorted. Misrepresented, misunderstood, misused so much that maybe we've lost sight of its real meaning. Poets, philosophers, songwriters, filmmakers, dancers, businessmen, scientists, everyone's tried to express its meaning. Some refuse to accept where it comes from. Still others believe they don't need it, and others just think it's a function of the brain. John Lennon said it's all we need. Pat Benatar says it's a battlefield. And Sinatra, for all your older people out there, said it's a many splendored thing, whatever that means. To be honest, we've all thrown this word around in some reference to ice cream or a football team that it makes it interchangeable between products and people. Now, I'm not knocking that, but sometimes I want to know what a word means. And it helps in conversation, like this word. Huh, can we really define it? Is it too ambiguous, too more from its original meaning, too mysterious that we can't expect anything from it? Well, maybe the creator of its original meaning needs to be consulted. So let's see what he says. Agape. That's the New Testament word for love that I'm talking about. The kind of love that we're really longing for, and nothing else comes close. Demonstrated properly is an act of unconditional love. It's the kind of love that I'll never think of myself first. Everything I do is for someone else. It's the kind of love that says, I will be rejected so you can be accepted. I'll be humiliated so you can be lifted up. It's the kind of love that says, I'll set this one out for the good of the team. I'll move to the back so my friend can sit in the front. It's a rare love that proves its merit by action. The kind that wakes up every morning and asks, how can I outserve everyone around me today? The kind of love that says when there's only three tickets for a U2 concert and four people want to go, I'll catch them next time. It's a motivational love that says, don't worry because I got your back. You can do all things with me on your side. It's the kind of love that says, I'm with you always. I'll provide for you. I'll sit with you beside still waters and I'll go over you and bail. It whispers, I'll forgive you. And it shouts, I'm your best friend. It leads you to truth and it steers you from harm. It's the kind of love that can't be earned, can't be bought, won't leave you, won't forsake you, won't misjudge you. It's a rare kind of love that will tackle you to the ground so you won't fall off a cliff. This is the kind of love that's better than life, stronger than death. It's patient, it's kind, it always protects, trusts, hopes, and preserves. Agape love is unmerited, unmovable, unshakable, undeniable, indestructible, secure, sensitive, straightforward. It's the kind of love that builds up, seeks the lost, befriends enemies, corrects, guides, comforts, reassures. In the simplest of terms, and maybe the most complete definition, is the kind of love that says, I'll die so you can live.